me and others are activating. We don't need to be part of an organization, a group, or have any formal training. We got guts. We got resistance. We've been trained in the streets fighting you. 19 years on the air up against the enemy, and now I'm not a learner. I'm a master. But becoming a master, I know how little I do know. But compared to the general public, oh, it's unbelievable. Compared to the average even commissioned officer, they don't understand what's happening. They've got pieces. They're smart up. They're smart, but they don't have it decompartmentalized. And the magic of this broadcast and the importance of this transmission is we are decompartmentalizing in front of everyone, the entire system. The enemy's been very sloppy because all their pieces are right there. And they even have master documents that Brzezinski and others have written describing how the pieces go together so that they can communicate with high-level State Department and CIA, defense intelligence, and DARPA groups. Because even their top people that have gone to MIT and Harvard bought the lower-level brainwashing of the system and still believe the system's good and don't understand three- and fourth-dimensional warfare and don't understand full-spectrum globalist dominance and a war against humanity and the eugenics program. So they have to be given books that were secret, like Tragedy and Hope, that the plates leaked. And they try, quickly tried to stop the publication later, but they didn't. And, and we've got folks that republish it, and we sell it at InfoWarsStore.com. 1,100 pages detailing their entire plan. And uh, it uh, gets worse than that. Hey, guys, do, do me a favor and get me a pair of pliers. Uh, it's not a big deal, but the earpiece just came off in my ear. I knew it was feeling weird this morning. It was halfway on there, and it's about to slip completely into my ear, and uh, I just want to get it out right now. You can go ahead and do it on camera. This will be interesting for all the viewers. Just uh, just, 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 bring me pliers, small needle-nose pliers, and I don't have a lot of time to go. I'm not mad or anything. It's not your fault. I just feel it slipping deeper in my ear right now. I want to stick the pliers in my ear and get it out right now. And, and that's why I want those fancy earpieces that are contiguous, not with these ends. I've been wanting those for a couple years. I think we even have them in the boxes in there. In fact, after today, I'm not going to have this earpiece anymore. That's a directive. If I come in here tomorrow, and I'm just saying this now because I can't live like this, I may have to go off air then if you guys can't give me a needle nose. It's not a big deal. It's just that, you know, I got the earpiece in my ear, and I need needle nose right now. Okay? Anyways, long story sh short, folks, um, this is a serious situation that we're dealing with, and, and we have to admit that, that, that the globalists are doing this. We have to look at their programs <laughs> Look at their plans, uh, and we have to we have to stop being so naive about all this. It's not really needle nose, but I'll try to get this out here. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna do this myself. Can one of you come in here and stick these in my ear and get the damn thing out? I mean, you know, it's not a big deal. I just listen, I can't have these earpieces anymore. I'm two years in, I think. You know, I, we got them in there. I don't understand it. We got piles of equipment to the freaking ceiling around here. And uh, you see it? Just grab it. Mm -hmm. No big deal. So it, I've had one go all the way in before, and I had to, you know, I just go to rebroadcast. I'll do it. Let me let me have the damn things. Okay. Ares Armor, a California gun parts manufacturer, has filed a temporary restraining order against the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives for fears the federal agency could soon bust down its doors. What the ATF has determined time and time again is that there are five operations on the Air 15 receivers that need to be uh, left undone that still need to be mowed by the customer in order for it to be considered not to be a firearm. Here's the problem. A manufacturer has made one in plastic with different material and colors. This is plastic, this is metal. Which show the person building it exactly where to drill. Aries Armor says the ATF is threatening to shut them down if they don't hand over some 5,000 names of people, customers. Show that to everyone who says registration doesn't lead to confiscation. The ATF demanding customer records of a product they don't approve of. We already see magazines being banned in parts of California and Connecticut. And guns banned in New York based on cosmetic features. And on the other side of the ranch, the ATF ran guns into Mexico under Operation Fast and Furious. 
a fact that the Attorney General Eric Holder perjured himself about. Attorney General Eric Holder was sent briefings on the controversial Fast and Furious operation as far back as July 2010. That directly contradicts his statement to Congress. Listen to what Holder told a Judiciary Committee hearing on May 3rd this year. I'm not sure of the exact date, but I probably heard about Fast and Furious for the first time over the last few weeks. Yet internal Justice Department documents show that at least 10 months before that hearing, Holder began receiving frequent memos discussing Fast and Furious. You can find more reports at Infowars.com. What's his name? The ultimate survival bug out lightweight fishing pole is Emrod. Made by a family owned American company and assembled in Idaho, Emrod fishing gear comes with a lifetime warranty and 90 day money back guarantee. Emrod weighs just 8 ounces and breaks down to 14 inches. Emrod's indestructible stainless steel compact design makes it perfect to take anywhere. Cast your eyes now at Emrod.com. That's E M M R O D.com. Emrod. Fish to survive, survive to fish. Please pay attention, folks. AmericanSurvivalWholesale.com is a Christian, veteran-owned wholesale preparedness company. Our mission is to get the Word of God out to all those in need of a Bible and who cannot afford one. We also provide great-tasting freeze-dried food from only 50 cents per serving, GMO-free food, over 1,000 preparedness items. Plus, for a limited time, type in the word Genesis at checkout and receive 10% off your total purchase. That's AmericanSurvivalWholesale.com. It's been said, those who control the food, control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. We're here in the Red River District of downtown Austin, Texas, where last night a suspected drunk driver crashed through a barricade, killing two people and injuring 23 others. Now we're going to ask some of the locals as well as the out-of-towners if we should consider banning cars, just like how gun control advocates are always demanding that we ban guns after a shooting. So did you hear about what happened last night with the... Uh, I just heard right now. Really? So what's your, what do you think about it? 
Drunk people suck. I think those kinds of things happen when you have a bunch of drunk people all together in one place. I hate to say it, it's almost like terroristic, like what happened last night is is bad, yeah. I don't know. I guess there was an accident. I think that uh, people are idiots. Considering that the uh, driver drove a car and killed people using a car, do you think we should have a ban on cars? Probably. I think so. Ban cars, for sure. Absolutely. We should just ban everything. Ban everything. Ban pencils, ban knives. Hell, ban walking on the street because, hey, you can trip and fall and kill yourself. I mean, people are always saying we should ban guns after a shooting event, so maybe we should just ban cars too, right? No, um, but I, I, I don't think we should have uh, so many guns. There should be, I mean, there are weapons in the right hands. I mean, just like a plane can be used as a weapon. I do believe it's important to keep laws progressing towards reducing firearms and reducing cars and the use of cars. I mean, we should just stay in our bedrooms with yeah. mattresses strapped, strapped to us. Put, put a straight jacket on you. Hey, yeah, maybe I can put pillows over yeah, my head. They're not really comparable, though. I mean, you ban cars, people can't get around. You ban guns, people can't, I don't know, be stupid and shoot each other. It's... I think guns are, they're made to kill. Like, you don't get a gun thinking, oh, I'm just going to, like, you know, play this. Guns are made to kill things and kill people, and I think people should, it should be harder for people to get guns. Well, I have a lot of guns myself, but uh, they never killed anybody. I mean, I don't, I'm not saying that I think you're crazy, but I think it should definitely be harder for people to obtain things that are made to kill people. I know it was like a certain right that we were given in the beginning, but I mean, at the end of the day, facts are facts. The Constitution is what, two going on 300 years old, so I mean, it was a whole different situation than now. Do you know that the reason the Founding Fathers wrote the Second Amendment was based on ancient philosophers such as Cicero, Livy, uh, and even Machiavelli, who was known for giving advice to tyrants, that they all wanted an armed population to defend against tyrants and not so much for hunting. Did you know that? I did not know that. Well, now you know. If we're using the guns to like fight against tyrants, that would make more sense. But seeing as we live in America, I don't really feel like that's necessary anymore. Because You don't? I don't, actually, you know. Because we're... We don't really need guns, I guess. If people are just going to get hurt. It's like, what's the point? I do realize that majority of the murders that happen around the world have been committed by governments, which has been termed democide. What's your take on that? Well, I don't believe in violence. Yeah, we should ban pizza. Hey, hey, pizza? Yeah, I'm fat, whatever. That's my choice. Personal choice. So you're saying that you're responsible and not the pizza, correct? Yeah, I, it's life choices. So you'd say that the driver was responsible and not the car, right? Hey, it's an instrument. So you would say the shooter is responsible, not the gun, correct? Yeah, I would. So you believe in personal responsibility? Yeah, I do. Now, in the filming of this report, I had to stay out of the way of multiple cars. I almost got hit by a golf cart at one point. Yet, we do not see Michael Bloomberg spending millions of dollars to fund an anti-car movement. This is Kit Daniels reporting for Infowars.com. So, folks, uh, there is the report with Kit Daniels, and I think it basically says it all that uh, now we need to ban cars because it's the fault of the car that ran over a bunch of people and uh, dozens got injured and several died. Uh, it's not the fa fault of the driver. And that is the uh, new system where we're all guilty for what other people do. And inanimate objects are guilty as well. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. 
Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com. And your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you InfoWars?